Yeah, actually, honestly, yeah. It's always been a good smile. It's a concerning smile, but. But and yeah, we are your booklet channel. Yo, we're here for the heat, My Hero Academia. I don't really have too much to say, but last episode was fantastic because the Endeavor family really got a dope side story slash main story slash the story that they've been cooking up since season one. And it came to what I had perceived to be a phenomenal close. You know, the whole family getting together, you know, Endeavor was trying to shoulder this burden, you know, by himself. And then, you know, sharing it with Todoroki for a bit where Todoroki came through to lift his father's burden. But the whole family, including mama, came on through. That was nice. And I'm excited to see what the homie All Might got in the bag, in the, in the case, quite literally. Yo, so much makes sense. Here we are, hypothetically, if we're talking about the the quirk theory, right? So Endeavor's first kid took all the took a, a whole bunch of fire out the gene pool. So the next two kids were just mostly ice, right? Then it finally starts to balance out, and then Tony Rock comes out as its perfected finished version. And it's like, it's it's pretty, it's pretty poetic how without the kids, he even said, he's like, yo, if y'all wasn't here, cool in this environment, my last slap, probably wouldn't work. Yeah. So it all came, oh, to, it that's came, to, going yeah, it came yeah. together throughout the throughout the whole generations. If you look at it, like how they even broke it down, like, damn. He took, yeah. all, he took all the firepower. That's why Endeavor was trying to have more kids to have the fire and it just wasn't working. Toya took it all, bro, every ounce of it to bounce back in that fourth generation. Yeah, ah, yeah. Cause uh, the reason why I was having a hard time following you, cause I was like going with how literal the genes actually gave fire slash ice. But aside from how literal the genes like thought about it, you know, just for lack of a better word, from a story point of view, it worked out exactly how you said it. It bounced out. Cause if you didn't have those cold children, those ice children, as you said, yeah. You want to add Todoroki? And, and Davi wouldn't have been stopped this match. So he he literally has the perfect balance of kids to A, correct his mistakes. So he, has, he has enough ice in here. And then, yeah, Toto is here. So Toto will go off and be great. As far as I'm concerned, Endeavor won. Everyone. And none of his kids are, I'm not going to pick my choose, I'm not going to pick and choose words, like are failures in the grand scheme of things. Because he needed those kids to check the other kid so he can, you know, finally come to his perfect kid. It sounds messed up, but it's, it's a closed like, circuit, Luke. Yeah, it's a closed circuit. It's like, oh, it's damn, dog. Circuit. Endeavor, truly number one hero, man. And number one dad. All right, okay. <laughs> you editor, please insert this tweet, because I didn't even say this. That's an accredited article from the comic book whoever that said Endeavor is number one dad. And it's not my words. I am quoting a source. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's jump into the heat. The five fingers of justice. Beautiful. Twice is out here too, then. I was gonna say the pose. <laughs> Dami just like me. Dang. Oh my god. They didn't make it. Damn. I wasn't expecting that. Now I gotta hit him with the words, bro. What is that twice's? That's yeah. TikTok. Oh like that? They got her. Damn. Insane work. That's it. It's like a freaking. I'm not even ocean fish. So she's gone. You got dang virus. Look at my boy Hawks out here with no quirk. Oh. What? Dang, they remind me of Asia Smith. <laughs> Got her. Space Walker! Don't tell me. 
<laughs> You're the casual. Yeah, right. I'm just gonna cut this line real quick. Those eyes. Because you have murderous intent, it's not pure alike. Murderous intent. Because she can only change and morph when she has like a positive emotion. Oh, oh. Dad, don't do it! Don't do it! Leave Froppy alone! Oh no. Damn. Come on, leave Froppy alone! Come on. She's gonna murder her. No? Damn, Froppy! Oh, she barely got her. Just barely. Okay. What? Froppy of all people? Oh, oh, that's right. This makes sense. This makes sense. Oh. <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. Sounds are sneaking each other. Damn, if you're bleeding on the battlefield, you're gonna see yourself eventually. Yeah. That's so scary. Jeez. Facts. No. God. Jeez. She is not listening. Damn, she's took it. Well, now she's that close. Keep her tight. I was gonna say lock. Lock your guard. Oh, nope, not lock your guard. Nah, that strength leaves you. She's not gonna double tap. <laughs> Pikachu! <laughs> That's actually cool. Dabi. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Ooh, spit and shake, Rocky. Oh, yeah. My boy Shigaraki always spitting, man. Why are we, why are we fighting him? She's her. She is. Okay, she's not trying to wear a mask. But she does have a mask. She's an interesting one. Oh! We're going to hit her with the suplex without grab. Oh, no. Yep, let her fly out. No. No. Damn, right in his Dude, back. Hawks looks so bad. But he was murdered in cold blood. That's just your ego. God dang. Did her voice change? Yeah. Her voice changed dramatically. Wow. Sad man's legion. No, I was saying we even carrying. Dang. My man's just laying in the streets. Nah, whose words right now? Ilda or Hawks just standing there? Well, Hawks is a little stuggin' because he has no quirk and he's standing right next to his pupil with a goddamn sword. 
I know it's his wing, but that's thugging to me. Hawks is just like this on the battlefield. No quirk. Yo, <laughs> y'all got the same score right now. On the doomsday theory. There it is. It's today. That thing is multiplying like a goddamn plague. Oh, it depends which girl. Oh, you see her new fit? Gunhead? What? She out here Hugo in it? It's just gonna work. Oh, just tap him when he starts floating away. <laughs> this girl needs a doctor. She needs some milk. Yeah. Oh, it's too much. She's thrown up. What is she? Hey, bitch, shut up! <laughs> you about to get to me. Try to tear a role model. Bitch. She's a bitch! Hit you with that gravity! Both VAs are actually going crazy. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> Yo. Break that conviction, girl. Uh, everyone used to say she looked evil. Yeah. She's just my ass cute. Oh, Jeez. damn. We're trying to evolving. Oh, she had to float the whole system. Oh, shit. How far can it go, girl? Yo, we're literally watching Quirks of Wolves in real time, fam. They're like, oh, it's like that. Oh, man, I ain't gonna cry, but damn. Oh, I see. Dang, she really made everyone flu. Everyone. Oh, anyone who's touching. Today's the day, girl. Doomsday theory going crazy. She could do a shoot yeah, She got level so event. strong so fast, yeah. Imagine she just go to Chicago. <laughs> Note the air. Yeah, she could make a Chicago <laughs> level event, bro. <laughs> Oh, no, it's three tons of still impressive. She's not afraid of Oh, the wind anymore. blowing, too. The blood look is so savage. I'm actually digging it. Damn. The resilience of Toga. Wow. What an image. What an image. She's not extending her arm right now, too. Is she? Oh, uh, she's just out the game. Oh, you know, that makes sense. That looks crazy. It's a good smile, it's just that weird things. I laugh at weird things. Oh. This is cute. The director thinks it's cute. Aww. You mess with the wrong people, girl. That's all it is. Oh, it's all gone right away. She got a new one. That's why she likes Deku. Y'all don't need Deku. Y'all need each other. <laughs> you got the right idea, girl. <laughs> yeah, actually, honestly, yeah. It's always been a good smile. It's a concerning smile, but 
You can smile, girl. Don't stop. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't stop smiling. It's only because she's pretty enough to smile like that. I ain't gonna hold you though. There's some other people like, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> she could do that smile. It's like, yeah. you know what? This smile has just so much feeling. I'm not ready for it. That's really what it is. You know, it, it has a lot of feeling. She, it kind of has a scary, menacing look to it. She got the razor sharp teeth at the same time. And, and her eyes is like, Cause, yo. Cause her eyes, if you're not looking at the smile, her eyes is just showing a lot of like love, the blushing, like it's a huge amount of like emotion. And then the smile gives it like, like it's just so big. It's like, geez, it's, that's a lot. Yeah, you like me like that's me. That's a lot, bro. That's I how I know, barely know you. That's how I know I'm a sim. It's like, you, like, yeah. When she said, yo, I fall in quickly. I'm Haitian. Three days all it takes. Oh, it's like, I love you, I love you, baby, baby. I love you so much. Yeah. You oh. smile at me like that? Look, by the time I know you crazy, <laughs> I'm gonna be in too deep. Nah, it's really, so you got the shoulder up, the eyes, the waterworks, as you talked about the blushing. It's, it's, yeah, girl, you keep smiling. Yeah. You keep smiling. It's just what she'll smile. From my understanding, objectively, it's a beautiful smile. It's just what makes her smile, what would drive people insane. Like, yeah. It's all of the above. Cause she, first she smiled like that. Some people got, you know, it's she smiles like that. And it's after she gets done, she also smiles like that, confirming what you're already thinking. Yo, yeah. this chick is crazy. Yeah. And she smiles like, oh yeah, she's definitely yeah. crazy. I think, I think it was definitely just like, she'd be misunderstood. Like, the way her ability works and the way her parents overreact to certain things. I'm gonna say overreact because they think she's already heinous off the bat. Like they just go like, oh, she's crazy. And she's explaining like with a smile on her face, she's explaining like the bird fell. Like, and she, when she cries, she's smiling. It's like, some people can't help it. Like when I'm in pain, I just smile through it. So I just be like, I hit myself. <laughs> I just smile at it. To me, that's normal, but other people probably wouldn't smile. But like her thing is like, she's sad smiling. Like any any type of emotion, she just keeps smiling. So it's like, it might come off as like crazy. And then you already have a perception of her drinking blood and doing all this stuff. Cause I didn't just, know what to believe. She's yes, like, cause it's like cause the, the bird just fell. Got. I was like, I don't know if the bird fell girl anymore. I feel like you knocked the bird out. Just, but my friend was I already bleeding. Here. I my her friend here. was already bleeding. It's like, were they though? You ain't like, And she on. said she was trying to stop the blood. So it's like. I, I mean, like it's, it's one of those things and they do such a good job with it because of who she is in the preconceived bias, you don't know, what to, I don't know what to believe and I'm failing her right now. I'm actively failing her. I would not have gotten her out of this moment because I'd be like, I'm over here like, I don't know. Ochaka's like, no, it's all right. Your smell's beautiful. And I, that's what I'm gonna focus on. I do believe her in this because the perceive, the perception before was the background that we got was from her side of the thing. And she was, she was, she, again, I think it was like, she was basically faking it. She put on a mask type of thing when she's explaining her side of the story. And she's like, yeah, I like blood. This is what I did. And then we get this version and this version just seems more truthful, like what actually happened. And it was like, this is what everyone thought I did. And I just played the part as this heinous thing because no one understands me. So I must be the one who has the problem. And then the, the truth of like what actually happened, which was like, I really just liked watching everyone and people thought it was creepy for smiling and and then certain instances happen and and you know i just tasted the blood and then boom i just became a villain but i didn't cause anyone harm or anything she's trying to stop the blood i'm gonna believe her she just seemed like yeah she just misunderstood and she's a kid she couldn't communicate properly and then parents were just too too crazy they weren't gonna listen to her even when she was trying to explain what happened the parents were like ah get help get help like it's just like oh, okay yeah, have y'all got a different take on this one? Because I wouldn't really go to war with it, but like her drinking blood and smiling like that and like doubling down on it and her parents like freaking out. I'm understandable. Like, yeah, it's, it's understandable. Very understandable. Yeah, I would not behave as those parents have, but at the same time, when I see what happens, oh, that's crazy. I used to pretend to be Spider-Man and my mom would literally try to exercise demons out of me. And I was just web slinging, so <laughs> much less, uh, uh, you know, drink blood and stuff like that. So you don't want being overly religious or religious, a bit of conservatism. She's drinking blood, all these little factors. Like, oh, this is crazy. What is my child doing? So, you know, that's my particular opinion, but I definitely would agree that they handled it wrong, you know, and you know, oh, you know what it reminds me of? I won't even go too deep on this. Like, you know, sometimes, you know, that when, when they went, when they sent her to the therapist and the therapist went to go fix her or whatever, it also reminds like me that. of, People that have a, a different the orientation. The you knew exactly what I was yeah, thinking about. Yeah, therapy. you have a different yeah, orientation. Yeah. That's just the way you are. And they just send you to the therapist and they're just going to change you. But it's like, this is the way this person is. You're not supposed to change them. You're supposed to help them 
like understand themselves, understand themselves, adjust with society, et cetera, et cetera, but not change them. That's who they are. So I caught that in here. Yeah, I never like that. Fix you. We can fix you. Yeah. yeah. Like we said as a joke to the shoddies, but like when they really comes down to it, like, no, we can fix that in you. It's like, but is that something that needs fixing or is that just their personality? Like, why do you need it fixed? And the therapist specifically said it, in my opinion, like an ominous way. Yes. I felt like yeah. the whole thing yeah. was ominous. Yeah. Like, yeah. We, we're going to get her right. And it's like, what does what? that mean? What does she go through? Um, but you know, it is what it is. I do like how this gravity power, which I greatly underestimate since the entire franchise, Same. I don't make it a big deal vocally. I'm always, I like the girl, but I'm like, gravity, I don't know about all that. But doing the chain reaction, like the homie Sugar Rocky, yeah. and floating this whole thing, I'm like, man, yeah. it's, it's, she doesn't want to hurt people. She doesn't use her power to hurt people for the most part, but it's still an OP ability for a given situation. Again, the school thing that was falling, if she was there, hypothetically, with her awakening, fine, you know, we would be able to recover the school. I mean, so many possibilities that you have with a power like hers mm -hmm. um, that don't have to be combat, you know? But she got this whole army to go up, and you could be as strong as a Hulk, all these other stuff, razors are like coming out of your body, just slicing them up, and you can't put down that amount of, of, of twices. Her with the chain reaction is floating everybody up. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. You're useless if you're floating. So, you can't do anything. And then when she was multiplying, they were all floating too. Yeah, so was that like, was the yeah. key. That was the key where I was like, no, it's truly OP. If everything had to be touching, I was like, she could do like, she go to a city and just do a Sugar Rocky event. But I was like, oh, everybody has to be touching, not gonna work. And then the clones came out and those was floating. I'm like, oh no, it would work. Yeah, yeah, she can float a whole city and then drop it, hypothetically. Yep. I mean, the weight, you gotta worry about the weight, but we're, we're scaling up to massive potential damage because someone floated. Three versus that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, I got nothing else to say. I thought it was a pretty dope execution of emotion as far as that goes. Um, what, what you would expect from these characters, like, I couldn't expect anything differently. You know, willing to extend the blood, just truly trying to understand the character. She still got to pay for her crimes, but oh, yeah, like, I'm yeah. trying to understand you. I'm going to visit you when you get locked up. You know, I'm going to be there. Bags of blood. Bags of blood. My blood, you know. Um, It was nice. And the VA is a bold side. Yeah. Phenomenal execution. Phenomenal. And uh, that's it. That's it. Y'all have anything to add? Kawaii! Isn't she cute? Yeah. She's cute. All right, guys. Until next time, Rock D. Lee. I don't know. Rock Nasty. Out. As always, thanks for supporting this channel. If you don't know, we do have a Patreon, and it's free to join. You can stay updated, suggest content, or vote on polls. If you're interested in our uncut and early reactions to anime, K-drama, Western shows, and movie reactions, which include exclusive reactions not found on YouTube, you can join the upper tiers on Patreon, or you can stick with the edited content right here on YouTube. We got your boy Rock Lee reactions also in the description of this video. Until next time, I'm out.